been following all morning for you as the FBI has now joined San Jose police in a search for a three-month-old little boy who was kidnapped from his apartment. There are now conflicting reports involving a car that may be connected to the boy's disappearance. We'll bring in KTV's James Torres. You're live in San Jose following new developments. Gossi, it seems at this point we don't have details about a suspect uh, car information. That's a big deal because without it, Police and the California Highway Patrol cannot issue an Amber Alert, and we know how useful that could be when it comes to solving issues like this. Let's show you some video of the scene from yesterday afternoon and evening. This is where it all began. FBI agents now on board helping to solve the case. CHP put out information originally for a suspect car, but then San Jose police disputed that information, and now descriptions for a suspect car have since been retracted. We did hear from CHP moments ago, and they say their communications and the social media that correspond with that are all handled through their offices in Sacramento, and those uh, the people in those offices are now communicating with San Jose police officers to find out how to solve this confusion. Now, here's what started it all. Police say a man with dark complexion, wearing dark clothes, walked into an apartment, walked out, with the baby boy and a carrier. I want to show you now that baby boy, three-month-old Brandon Cuellar. Police say the kidnapping happened as the boy's grandmother was unloading groceries, and officers say the boy's mother was at work at the time. The boy's father is currently incarcerated. And the story now rattling those who live nearby. I've seen a lot of things go on here, but not a kidnapping. I need to pay, uh, pay attention on the, my kids because she likes to run outside and play outside. So now I need to pay attention more. Officers say the boy's mother and grandmother have no idea who the man in the video is. There is now a cash reward for helping them find Brandon and the suspect. If you have any information, call San Jose's many tip lines. You can find those numbers on our website, ktvu.com. Earlier this morning, we did notice a tow truck came to the area and took off with a blue SUV under San Jose supervision. We're still working to find out if there is any connection between that tow, that car, and the case that we are covering this morning. Of course, once we have those updates and the latest information,